Hello, and welcome back to the Banker's four-part masterclass series in association with Visa Business Solutions on harnessing new payment flows. I'm Joy McKnight, Managing Editor at The Banker, and I'm joined by Alan Kroningsberg, Global Head of New Payment Flows at Visa Business Solutions. In the second chapter, we'll be looking at the challenges banks and corporates face when making cross-border B2B payments. Alan, thanks for joining me again. Thanks for having me. So can you tell me some of the challenges that you know banks, corporates face on this and B2B cross-border payments? Cross-border correspondent banking, in terms of how it was developed, is over 40 years old. Its thinking was done, its design was done on a bilateral basis, with really the top banks being able to invest and cultivate these large correspondent networks, and often other banks having to work with those banks. Inherently, a good opportunity, a good system, but based on legacy or older technologies. And I think that if you had to rethink the way that would be done or rethink technology in terms of how it would be purveyed today, it would be quite different. So I understand that Visa Business Solutions has done some recent research into these pain points. Can you tell me about some of the findings? Absolutely. I mean, we've talked to over 480 banks, over 510 corporates regarding some of the challenges that they have. When it comes to banks, leveraging correspondent banks uh, to conduct their payment business around the world, it's not surprising that predictability, timing, and data, and receipt of payment feature as the top required items, the top items that are most meaningful to serve their customers in the market. But there's been a lot of debate in the industry about the timing um, and whether real time is really needed in cross-border payments. Uh, what's your opinion on that? I think when we think about real time, I'd like to back up and have a discussion about what faster really means. And I think then we're having a domestic conversation about payment systems, and there's a lot of projects, you know, from the U.S. to Europe to all, a lot of markets around the world about delivering a domestic faster to real time payment. When it comes to global cross-border payments, when I think about faster, in today's parlance, most global cross-border payments can take between three and five days on a bilateral basis to get from payer to beneficiary. And when I talk to corporate treasurers, they ask me about data. Hmm. They ask me about predictability. They ask me about compliance and other things that are absolutely required in order to get that payment to its beneficiary for the beneficiary bank to report back to say the payment has been received and for all parties to really agree. That can be done next day and it can be done same day. So I, I like the faster conversation in terms of real time. I think it has its appropriate place in the market. In chapter three, we'll look at how the banking industry can use emerging technologies to overcome friction and cross-border payments.